this is Thomas and today we will be making brown butter chocolate chip cookies. They are similar to regular chocolate chip cookies except the butter is brown. So, to start, put 10 tablespoons of butter into a hot pan and place that over medium high heat. You will also need 4 tablespoons of butter in a separate bowl, a heat proof bowl. Melt the butter and then continue stirring to make brown. Once the butter is all melted, keep stirring until it starts to get brown. After a little while, you will notice your butter is starting to foam. Keep stirring, that just means that it is getting closer. Now it will start to get really foamy. Near if you can't really see what's going on, keep stirring until you start seeing brown lines. So you can see here, it's starting to get a little darker, and when you stir that, you can sometimes see a bit of butter coming away from there. That means if you get really close. Now you can see more of the brown butter, which means it's pretty much done. So pour it into the pan and let that sit until the butter in that pan melts. Once the butter in your bowl is all melted, measure out half a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. It should be packed, but the whole food stuff never actually packs. It always pops out is not fun, but we were desperate for brown sugar. You will also need a teaspoon of vanilla. Use a measure, but I don't, so don't listen to me. I also recommend switching to a whisk at this time because you will not be able to get the same results with a spatula. Just whisk until it's nice and smooth. Now for the egg yolk. In addition to one egg into your bowl, you will also need to separate one for only the yolk. Crack the egg over the sink, take the top off, let the white drain, and give it a little assistance, pump it out into your hand, and play with it between your fingers, letting the yolk white drip out. Sometimes you may need to tug at these little things to get them off. Try not to break the yolk. I have done that many times before, and that's pretty good. So that'll go in there also. Whisk for about 30 mm -hmm. seconds until there are no sugar lumps remaining, and the mixture is smooth. Let it stand for three minutes while your mixture is sitting. Measure out three one and three quarters cups of flour into a small bowl. And yes, it's much more efficient to use a whole cup measure, but that one's kind of dirty. You'll also need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Stir that up with a whisk or the teaspoon measure thingy. And set that up to the side. After three minutes, you're going to stir it for another 30 seconds. And then let's sit for another three minutes. And then Stir for another 30 seconds, and then let's sit for another three minutes, and then stir for another 30 seconds. So, you will have done nine minutes of sitting, two minutes of stirring. After the final stir, you're going to switch back to the spatula, and you're going to add in your dry ingredients. Now that that's done, you're going to need about a cup of 
chocolate chips. Okay, and the cup measure is also dirty, so I have to use a third of a cup measure. I'm gonna do more of it. This hole in this thing is a little bit too big. Okay, that's good. Stir that in. Okay, now you're going to take a scoop like this. And you're gonna make little balls about this size. So if you wanna bake these now, you would put them on a tray like this and line them up like that. But I'm going to bake these in the morning. So I'm gonna put them in this little handy dandy container. It's actually a cracker container, but reusable. And you're gonna make balls. Add a second layer, just add some cling wrap, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. You can put these in the fridge for as long as you need to. I'm just going to put them in the fridge overnight and I will be back in the morning to bake them. See you. Okay, now that we've put the cookies in the fridge overnight and as long as you wanted to put them in, you're just going to put them on the tray and put them in a Preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to put these in the oven, but it's not yet preheated. So, see you next time. Bye!